One, two, the cut down. We are going to be talking about Google I.O. with the hardware announcements. And you know what? This time it's going to be on the Pixel 7 series. Yes, they came out the gate. Pixel 7 Pro, Pixel 7, and they didn't even stop there. They flexed. And because whew, all the leaks on the Pixel Watch, it looks like it were true. The Pixel Watch is coming this autumn. Or fall, as my North American people like to say, the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7 alongside the Pixel Watch are coming pretty much from October out of the gate. Oh my days. And I know it's been a bit so definitely if you miss and you like this kind of chilled more straight to the point cut down version of your up-to-date tech news then definitely make sure you like subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on a cut down yep it's good to be back into the groove of things i know you'll be seeing the podcast videos and episodes on the channel as well and also definitely if you like it man subscribe to it follow on all your favorite audio platforms as well anchor spotify google Podcasts, apple Podcasts, all the places definitely show support we're trying to build this channel to a thousand subscribers and above man so definitely help a brother out no doubt but yes we're going to get straight to it and talk about the pixel 7 pro and pixel 7 and the pixel watch now you know what they didn't give much details like all the juicy stuff really came down on the pixel 6a and also the pixel buds pro definitely check out that previous reaction on the cut down as well and also the main channel on lover of tech in terms of my reaction to google io which i was hyped about and stuff here but we're going to talk about the pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro and the google watch not much information but here it is this is google pretty much taking ownership of leaks and i'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on that and what i feel about that the good and the bad the pros and cons and the in-betweens but yeah as you can see coming this autumn pixel 7 pro and pixel 7 are on deck okay someone's someone's trying to make google's marketing a bit juicy i like that team pixel come on on deck <laughs> Be the first to know sign up but obviously we're just going to look at the early looks here because they didn't really give much out they ain't got much information but it's all about the looks and the swag so let's maximize it and have a look at it right so they've now separated it and obviously i've got a pixel 6 pro here they've separated it so that they can, you can individually tell the main and the ultra wide together and then obviously i'm guessing a periscope zoom yes the periscope zoom is the one that's singled out by itself um very interesting in that sense pixel 7 and then obviously the Pixel 7 does look a bit cleaner. It does look a bit cleaner and it does look distinctive. I like how they, they own the camera bar even more. The camera visor and the camera bar, they're owning it more. I do think the Pixel 7 does look a bit cleaner. I think the Pixel 7 does look a bit cleaner. We don't really have much else on it. All it's saying is that more power to Pixel with the next generation Google Tensor processor, Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro will bring even more powerful personalized features to photos, videos, and security, and also speech recognition. So if we go down here, this device may not be sold or authorized distributed until required legal restrictions. Okay, compared to earlier models. All right, cool. Fast pair. Whew, I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one because they're building a complete hardware ecosystem to match what they are as a software and service-based company so we're seeing that this is the pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro right we ain't seen much details yet but if we go here here's what they said all right this was obviously this was tweeted 7 42 p.m uk time on io 11 for march on a wednesday did you catch that pop of color the pixel 7 <laughs> obsidian slow snow and lemongrass Oof, i like the names though Pixel 7 Pro comes in Obsidian, Snow, and Hazel. Okay, so here's me right now, right? You can tell obviously by the camera, camera, camera module that you can see the differentiating factor. There's a silhouette, there's a design identity, and that's that's something I'm really, really liking about what Google are doing. They're leaning into that design identity and they're refining it and it stands out and I like it. Here is where we have the Pixel 7, Pixel 7, Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro, Pro, Pro. Here, this color here, whoo, Hazel. Is it hazel? Yeah, 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 this color is all me. And lemongrass is all me. Listen, Google, like Team Pixel, if you're gonna send these devices, come October, come autumn, come the fall season, lemongrass and hazel it is for me, man. I'm definitely feeling this hazel color on the Pixel 7 Pro. I'm feeling that one hard. But, you know, these, 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 these white ones definitely are coming in nice. I like that as well. Lemongrass is definitely out there. So it's looking good, it's looking good. All right, let's move over to the Pixel Watch. 
And there is a point of contention that's actually occurred already with the Pixel Watch in terms of the system on the chip that's going to be powering it, which is apparently an Exynos based chipset that is from 2018. And that worries me not for performance, but for one thing which we're going to get into. So here's where we have. And let's let's play it. Check it out. 16 seconds. Yeah, the digital crown, circular design. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to try this. I'm eager to try this. I'm eager to try this. And that's coming for me being excited to try this. And I'm not really much of a watch person, if I'm going to be very honest with you. But what it does say is the first smartwatch built by Google inside out. That's important. That's important. Earbuds, watch, phones. Very important. Tablets next year for 2023, but we don't have much details on it. But yeah, that's just something to consider in that sense. New experience of Wear OS by Google, right? Helped by Google, health and fitness by Fitbit, and new Wear OS experience. That's what we've got so far. But we're going to come back to this and pretty much say that with the Pixel Watch, just kind of rounding up and say that with the Pixel Watch, apparently it's using an Exynos-based system on a chip from 2018 and my concern is not performance my concern is the fabrication process that is potentially built on which i can't remember whether it's eight nanometers or 10 nanometers battery life smart watches have small batteries in general and my point of concern is the battery life that's my point of concern above all my point of concern is the battery life i think people are looking at the performance side of things and i think the performance is going to be more than potent enough i'm just concerned on the battery life i don't know if it's the same chipset but on a newer fabrication process but keeping the same performance as before but on a newer fabrication process that could work but if it's on the same fabrication process from before that does bring me to a point of concern it is a point of concern and that is an instant kind of amber i can't say red flag but it is an amber situation in terms of what it could be lacking or what could be a bottleneck because i know that's a struggle for smartwatches as, a, as it is already but now we come over to that and i'm excited for the smartwatch even as someone that is not really much of a watch person if we look at what they've done with the pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro if you saw my reaction on lover of tech with the reaction of the google iota event and, I, and i'll put it somewhere so you can see it right they came out the gate i was not expecting that and it came out the gate after announcing the fact that obviously the pixel 6 and pixel 6 pro this pixel 6 series had been the fastest selling pixel device even with supply constraints and chip shortages with what the pandemic brought and then straight out the gate they talked about the pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro showed it previewed it just like what we're seeing online and pretty much said it's coming in the autumn and fall that kind of just puts it in a way of like look we want to take ownership of this we want to beat the leakers at their game take the fun out of it because they know google they, they get hit on all of that sides right but then as someone that we will probably look into pick up the pixel 6 and pixel 6 pro you are then in a situation where if the phone that you're using functions really well if the phone that you're using functions really well and it's not a leak because when it's a leak it's hearsay when it's a leak it's hearsay so that if you need the device, you get the device that you want and you enjoy it, get a good discount on it and whatnot, you know, but when the manufacturer themselves have come out the gate and actually said that's what they're bringing out at that time. Now, don't get me wrong. They're not the only ones to have done this. I, I'm just remembering now that Apple did this recently when they actually announced their new M1 series for the Pro, the Max and the Ultra for the Studio and the MacBooks where they talked about there is one more Mac Pro version of it coming out. So if let's just say you were considering getting a Mac Pro, you hear that you're going to wait. So that psychology of announce and bring out later is there. If you've got the brown clout, brand clout, sorry, struggled to say that. If you've got the brand clout, you can do that to an extent, right? You can do that. I think Google know they've got the brand clout, but they are still in a build up phase at the minute. So I don't know if this is a wise thing to do, but wise or not is one thing. It is an exciting one, right? Just give them my two cents. It is an exciting one. And I think because Google have the brand clout, they feel like they can actually use that to their advantage. Take the ownership, take the power back away from the leakers because they get hit all the time with it and pretty much run it from there. I might be wrong and I might have missed something and that's why I've got you. So definitely leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Definitely like and subscribe and turn on notifications. 
and we'll see you in the next one.